Hey, kia ora, Helen Brahms here, coming to you live from Escondido, California, where it was a little sunny this morning, a little overcast, and then we got a lot wet. Uh, it's been an awesome, awesome day today, except for the fact that yesterday I pulled a muscle, and when I woke up this morning, I can't do this on the right side. It's um, all down the right side is rather painful, and it all came from the fact that I took a toy that um, Zephy wanted to play with, and turned my arm under and threw it back behind me. And somehow I heard a popping noise, but I didn't think much of it until it started to hurt a little later. And yeah, woke up this morning and not able to move much of the right arm. So that put a kibosh in looking after the grandkids this evening, which I, I did get to see them though, so that's good. I did go over and see them earlier this evening after I'd finished my mastermind group thing for the day. But so did my mastermind thing for the group um, today. It was awesome. It was a really, really good session. My brain is gone. It is overflowing. I took eight pages of notes. I never take that many on a, on a masterminding thing. It was just really, really good information. And um, yeah, some of the, one of the exercises they got us to do, I'm sort of like, nope. Ah, but it'll get done. It's not a problem. I'll get it done. <laughs> so I, I also discovered I have a very smart puppy. So I found some toys that are meant to be puzzles for dog, for puppies, and help them develop things like keeping their teeth clean, thinking about how to get things out of things, and all that sort of stuff. So the first of her toys arrived today. And so, um, and it's, um, what's it called? A treat dispensing ball toothbrush. So this is what it looks like. It comes in this box here. Notice the piece coming out of the top that looks like this. There's a picture there. It is. <laughs> so I um now I read the instructions which say take out the product from the box. So I did that. Unscrew the plastic sealing cover of the treat dispensing ball by hand. Well, if you have a look at the top of this, there is no screw thingies there. There's no rivets for screws, no nothing. This is what it looks like. It actually pops in. It doesn't screw. So I'm sort of like, maybe this is a later model, an older model. I don't know. Then it says put your treats in there and screw the lid back on. So, well, the lid comes with this little thing here which goes through the little cap thing like this. And then there was a couple of knots tied. So I filled it up with the treats for Zephy and then she had a blast. <laughs> I'm in the, I'm on my mastermind session. She's busy running up and down, up and down. Like she'll sit down and chew it in one place. Then she picks it up and she ran into the bedroom, jumped up on the bed, chomp, 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 comes running back out with it, chomp, chomp, chomp. And she just did this for like an hour or so. And then she decided, obviously decided she'd had enough. And I thought, okay, well, you know, she's having a break. Well, the mastermind thing finished, and I got up, and she's, like, sprawled out on the couch. She's sound asleep and everything else. And I looked down at the floor, and this was like this, completely empty. So she got all the treats out, and I thought, good girl. But she had figured out that you can actually get your teeth down. You can get your mouth down in here, which is good. Um, but she also figured out how to get the top off. Now, remember, this is what the top looks like. And the rope goes down between these two holes and is tied off in knots. This is what I was left with. No knots. So she's undone the knots because um, these ends are still um, sealed. So she's un somehow undone the knots. And as you can see, there is now a flat ring. Hang on. Instead of a ring <laughs> piece like this. So she broke off the piece of the screws to get into the thing. Smart puppy. I tell you, she amazes me at times. <laughs> so yeah, so not only did she get the cap off, she broke off the two side pieces, and I found the two side pieces on my bed, in the middle of the bed, so I know where she broke it off. Um, and she somehow got the note, the rope done on this, but then this has got a lot of chew marks in it as well. So I think she figured out that the easiest way to get into this was to chew the top off, and then you could turn it upside down and everything would come out. Smart puppy. So I'm going to have to watch her more with this. So next time I put this together I'm not using the rope because you're meant to be able to use the rope as kind of like a little tug thing I'm just going to put this on it and see if she can get it out because she won't have the rope to hang on to to pull out this time so smart puppy 
so yeah, so I got to spend some time with the grandkids this evening, which is always fun. Um, hard to believe my oldest one's going to be five in a couple of months. It's, it's hard to, oh, five years, wow. <sighs> hard to believe that. Um, growing fast, and the other one's just, you know, 14 months old, and they're getting big quick, and, but I love it. You go over there, and he's like, Grandma, and he's like pointing to all the presents that are under the Christmas tree, and says, can I open one? I went, nope. And he says, but Mum said I could. I said, no. She did not tell you that, did she? She said I could. I said no. But yeah, he's kind of funny. <laughs> Mum said I could. No, she didn't. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> they try to play the grandparents off on the parents. Oh, wow. Sorry, I just tweaked. Um, so yeah, so um, yeah, so I had a great time with the grandkids and stuff, and then came back here. And Zephy is just like stressing out like crazy. Like I pulled the car up. And she wouldn't have been able to hear inside. Oh, mind you, they've got dog hearing. I did have music playing. I did not have her thunder vest on because we're still working up on the time thingy on that and getting her used to wearing it because she really doesn't like it. She's like trying to get her bottom drawer underneath the straps that go around the neck area, um, which is kind of funny to watch because she ends up rolling all over, loses the balance and rolls all over the floor. It's hilarious. Um, but I got out of the car and I could hear her crying and crying and crying. And I'm like, you got to be kidding. And I got, um, got inside and she starts going to town and I open up the door. She comes flying out. She's like all over me. And I just try, I'm like, I'm not going to deal with you like this. Calm down. And then I'll be happy to give you some scratches. And she's like sniffing me because I also had my, um, uh, my grandpup, Mojo was over there. It was over at the grandkids' place tonight because um, Chris and Ash are looking after the grandkids tonight since I was unable to, since I'm one-handed today. Um, not good when lifting a one-year-old um, <laughs> or trying to change his diaper. Um, and um, I was, and so, of course, she's smelling Mojo. I mean, she's just gone berserk. It took her a, almost a full hour to stop crying. Like, she'd be sitting next to me, and when she finally calmed down everything else, I'd start scratching it, and she would start telling me off basically starting her whining thing telling me off but it took a, it almost took an hour for her to actually calm down and stop whining like curling up on the couch and whining and um like i was getting dinner ready and she's just sitting there watching me whining and it's like you can see me i'm right here i'm not dealing with you like this and so i just basically ignored her until she calmed down and it took almost an hour for her to do that um but then if you look at my Facebook page, you can see the funny picture of the up periscope. She's laying on her back and she just stretches and this foot appears up above the edge of the dining thing area. And it just, and it stayed there. I thought she was just stretching. It was going to fall. No, nope, it stayed there. And I watched it and watched it and watched it. Then I finally picked up my phone and took a picture of it. And um, it stayed up there for probably another 30 seconds after I took that picture. So it was up there a while, almost a minute. Um, but finally, last night, got Skyfall finished. I was... Um, Turns out the DVD has a scratch on it. So I was able to go into the chapter selection, check the chapter after it, and then wind it back to just before or just after the piece where it freezes. And then able to watch the rest of the movie from there. So I got Skyfall finished. Um, it's been a long time since I've seen Like most of the, like all the James Bond movies with the, up to P Pierce Brosnan before Daniel Craig came onto the scene. Um, so the first 20 James Bond movies, I have seen multiple, multiple times. Um, Casino Royale I've probably seen twice before this and then Quantum of Solace and Skyfall I have probably seen once one time each and then I'm watching Spectre here and I'm like this looks really familiar and I know I didn't go to the movie theater to see it so I don't know if I saw it on Netflix or Prime or something but it's looking very very familiar and I'm like I don't have the DVD because I, I bought the DVD the other day for four bucks um at the Black Friday sale and so I'm just sort of like I don't know where I would have seen it but it just looks really, really familiar. But um, as far as Quantum of Solace goes and Skyfall, I'm watching those movies and I'm like, I don't feel like I've ever seen these before. Yet I know I have because I went to the theatre and I saw them in the theatre. And they were just like completely new movies to me. Um, but what was interesting, it was, let's see, in Casino Royale at the beginning, they do the gun, the traditional gun barrel James Bond beginning. Um, where they you know, shoot and the blood comes running down. And Quantum of Solace and Skyfall, they didn't do it till the very end of the movie. So they didn't do it at the beginning, they just did it at the end. Um, and then on um, Spectre, they did it at the beginning. So I thought that was kind of interesting um, that they changed that all around and everything else. Um, but yeah, Spectre came out in 2015. 
and I've misplaced my notebook that had my cheat sheet in it. But um, there were Oscar nominations that came through, and I believe the song Sky 4 won an Oscar for best song. Um, in fact, I think Sky 4 won, I don't want to say won two Oscars. I know it had like four nominations or something. But these movies are really, really good, so I'm enjoying them because um, after I came up with the, with the to the conclusion yesterday that when Daniel Craig came on, it was a complete reboot of the James Bond franchise. Um, then that kind of calmed me down a lot on the inconsistencies and things from um, and Die Another Day and between Die Another Day and Casino Royale. Um, so, yes, yeah, so feeling a lot better about that. But I'm kind of enjoying the new the new look, James Bond. And like I said, when I saw Quantum of Solace and Skyfall, I felt like I knew I had seen them before, but nothing seemed familiar except the ending scene, the ending part of Skyfall when they're actually at Skyfall. Um, that was that was really familiar. But the part leading up to that was like, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> Mind you, it has been a few years since I've seen those ones because I know I saw those two in the, in the theatres. Um, probably watched them once on DVD and that's it. So basically they're like brand new movies because it's been so long since I've seen them. And it's been good refreshing my memory on them and seeing this new look James Bond and thinking, yeah, this is really cool. Um, but yeah, so go check them out. Um, let's see, the beginning of... Casino Royale and the beginning of Quantum of Solace, they have two really good foot chases. Um, it's really cool. It's, it's not all gadgety. I love that. Um, although I don't mind seeing some of Q's gadgets. Um, but watching the, the foot chases is awesome. Awesome foot chases. Then in um, Skyfall, they have this amazing motorcycle right, um, chase that ends up on a train, um, which was really, really cool. And this one didn't have a Oh, they had this really cool hol um, helicopter stunt at the beginning of Spectre here. So I'm in the process of watching Spectre right now. So I'll give you a full report on that one tomorrow. But, um, yeah, it starts off with a really cool helicopter fight. Well, there's kind of a street race, but it's not really a street chase because it's not really any running through the streets. It's mainly like walking through. And then um, and then they get to this area where the bad guy gets on the helicopter and James Bond happens to get on there too. And there's this great battle in the helicopter and the chopper pilot's trying to get James Bond out of the helicopter, but keep the good, his mate in that he's supposed to be picking up. And there's, this, it's just a really good um, stunts with everything with the helicopter doing 360s and all that sort of stuff. So really, really cool um, opening sequence and all that sort of thing. So um, yeah, I'm going to go watch it because he's on the, He's on the grounded list right now. The guy, M actually used the, the new M actually used the term grounded. I'm like, he goes, you're grounded right now. And I'm like, it sounds like he's been a naughty boy. <laughs> but anyway, so, um, so that was my, that's been my day to day. It's been a good day. Um, love masterminding with some uh, just incredible, incredible people. And some of the master people I'm masterminding with, we're going to be doing some collaboration, which is going to be awesome. <gasps> Wait till you see what we're coming up with. And then I, we had to set goals and um yes severe consequences if we don't achieve them so good good motivation to get them done <laughs> so um yeah but tomorrow's sunday it's r and r day i do have one thing that i have to do tomorrow for a client um but then i've got the rest of the day off so i'll probably leave in bed tomorrow because i think it's meant to rain in the morning i don't know i haven't decided yet hmm Depends on what time I wake up and how I feel when I wake up. Maybe I'll let Zephy out of her crate and go back to bed for a bit and have her come and she likes to curl up next to me. We've done it again the, during the week. We um, had a day where we had, didn't have appointments till later on in the afternoon, but we were going into the evening. So I took the morning, kind of took the morning off. Um, so I could, because I had a heavy workload in the, in the afternoon and then into the evening as well. And um, so yeah, we kind of just, she likes to come in. She likes to rough house a little bit and then she just curls up and goes to sleep. And she'd curl up behind my knees, and then she was curling up in front of my knees and back behind them again. And um, at one point, she was trying to lick my face, and I went, no, so I pulled the sheet up over me. So she's trying to, with the, with her claws, trying to dig my face out from under the sheet. And yes, I quickly put the sheet down because I didn't want the sheet getting ripped with her nails. But we'll see. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a fun morning tomorrow morning. But right now, she's stretched out on the couch. She's much calmer now that I'm back. Um, so, yeah, tomorrow we'll work some more on the Thunder Vest, do some more training and that sort of stuff. So... That's it for me for today, um, and hopefully my muscles will be a little more 
<sighs> I've got my pain cream. Where's my pain cream? Oh, my pain cream's in the other room. So I've got some CBD oil, which is um, a pain cream. So I'm going to go put some more of that onto my side. Um, and hopefully that'll help my poor muscles. <laughs> I hate pulling muscles. I really do. Especially when, the, when that becomes useless and it prevents me from doing something I was looking forward to. So I hope you all have a super fantastic sparkling evening. And um, we will... Oh, and Zephy's getting some more puzzle toys tomorrow too they've been delivered tomorrow so um found out that amazon will actually deliver here to the rv um so that's kind of cool um so i don't have to have them go to the mailbox or anything so there's a couple more toys arriving tomorrow for her so i'll let you know how she did which those toys are and how she does with them so a super fantastic sparkling evening and we will catch you guys tomorrow hey conera oops trying to just drive a mouse left-handed